are continuing our Psalm 40 project interview with uh, Pastor Bob Grusing. And so I went to Dort, back to Dort, and I go, I'm dropping out of basketball. Yeah, you were a pretty big deal at basketball. Yeah, I was on the team, and I did all right in basketball. You did all right, whatever. So, <laughs> so I dropped out of basketball for a yeah. year, and I considered, I went pre-sem. Hmm. So getting into ministry, God's calling me into ministry, i got to give up everything else, right? That's yeah. the story. And that's often the story we always think. That's the you gotta, story. you got to drop exactly everything right. and give it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I was following that story. And so I signed up to take Greek. Oh, boy. Yes, oh, boy. Yeah. Um, Being through Greek myself, that was, that's no easy feat. Uh, no. And I studied a lot. In fact, my wife, who wasn't my wife then, but was my girlfriend, helped me study. Right? And we had studying dates. Oh. So I knew my Greek. How romantic. Inside and out. Oh, inside and out, I knew my Greek. She knew it, too. But what happened was... I get to my tests, and I was totally blank, hmm. and I flunked everyone. So I flunked my Greek class, but the professor knew how hard I tried. Yeah. So he gave me a D and didn't actually fail me. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> so what did I do? I took that as a sign from God saying, you know what? You're wrong. You yeah. shouldn't get into ministry. Okay. And back then, way back then, there was no other way in the ministry other than going to seminary and taking Greek and Hebrew. Hmm. Okay. There was no other way. No, but it's still somewhat so, the case today. So <laughs> I didn't. I said, ah, "Now what do I do?" Yeah. So I went to my advisor, and I said, "You know what? I want to graduate in four years. What can I do? What major can I have to get out of here in four years?" Because I'm kind of like, I don't want to get into ministry anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. Hmm. And he goes, well, the only thing you can actually do and graduate in four years now is you can get to be a history major, and you can graduate as a history major. Okay. Okay. What can I do as a history major? Not much. Oh, boy. So what do I do? I'll go. I'll get my history major, and I'm out of here at least. Yeah. So I did. So I'm a history major. Then I'm a PE minor. I'm a math minor. I'm a social psych minor. Okay. One class away from all that to be a major in each of those, but that's what I did. So I graduated. And then what did I do after graduation? I went home to Minnesota, and I became a hired hand for a farmer, hmm. and I drove school bus. Yeah. At this point, are you... So there we go. That, that's it. That's it? <laughs> that's my call. Okay. So how do you go from being farmer, hired hand, to actually into ministry? Exactly. Good question. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's a good question because here's what happened. While I was there, I get a call from Harmony Youth Home, which nobody knows what that is anymore. It was a delinquent boys' home at that point, similar to, kind of similar to Wedgwood. And they said, hey, I know you were in social work at Dort, and you didn't become a major, but we are looking for a counselor at our house. Okay. Would you consider coming and being a counselor here? So I go, hmm, better than being a hired hand on a farm, better than driving school bus all the time, and maybe there is some youth work in my future after all. Yeah. So I said yes to that. Okay. So I was there for a year, and I was on duty 24-7 oh, wow. for four days in a row. Okay. And I locked myself up to be safe. But I talked to kids, and I got to know them. Um, and after a year, I couldn't take it anymore. So we, I said, that's enough. We're done. And at that point, the day later, I got a call from Carol, my wife's uncle, saying, hey, there's a youth pastor job open in Michigan. Maybe Bob should apply. Oh. So I applied, and I got the job. I got the job. Was that here at LaGrave? Nope, it was okay. not here at LaGrave. So I got the job. It was in Zeeland. Okay. So I went to first CRC in Zeeland, 
first youth pastor they've ever had. And about the, this time, that's when youth pastor was starting to become it a... It was just starting, just starting. So it was the first one that they've had, and um, the day, the Sunday we got there, the senior pastor said, I'm leaving, I've accepted another call. Oh! So here I was, a new youth pastor, who was Mr. Everything, because back in those days, they couldn't sell being a youth pastor, so I was youth, education, hospitality, and I forget the other one. Okay. Whatever the senior pastor didn't want to do. <laughs> yeah. That's basically That was all your it. jobs. That was my job. So that was my first experience, but God wasn't done. Because it was like two months after I got there, that's it. God opened up the door to become actually a youth pastor by going to school for it. Because okay. Calvin Seminary at that point started a new program. And it was called education, directors of education, masters in church education. Hmm. So I went to Calvin Seminary, guess what? Didn't have to take Greek. <laughs> Didn't have to take Hebrew. Yep. I could just take classes I wanted to, in a certain sense, to prepare me for church ministry work. So that's how I got into church ministry, and that's how God called me. It's a very roundabout way to do it. <laughs> a very roundabout way. So it wasn't a direct call, boom. It was like, whoa. Yeah. Who would have ever guessed? 